but we're on a plane a little bit bigger in Kenya. Welcome to the Sunset Safari. There we have some zebras on the short grass plains. Welcome to Majestic, the Majestic Masai Mara. My name is Brent Smith. I have Dangerous Dave Eastall on camera, and we're just in loving this lovely late afternoon light. It's a almost perfect temperature. The zebras look quite content on this lovely short grass here. We're right down next to the Mara River, uh, right in the sort of north eastern corner of the Mara Triangle and we've been looking for leopards and that's one of the reasons we've been sitting in this spot for a while. Was a little while ago there was some nervous impala around and uh, one female was snorting but I think she was just paranoid because we've sat, we've listened, we've looked, we've scanned, we've scoured and we've searched but alas no leopard just yet. But of course the wonderful thing about the Mara is there's just so much game around. Uh, even in what is called the quiet season. Oh, what is that, Dave? To the right. To the right, to the Dave. <laughs> there we go. We've got some topi. And uh, next to a rather scraggly gardenia. Uh, that's just off to the left. There we go. Now, those little gardenia trees are actually very, very important to us as we mission around the Mara because they are often in the tiniest little bit of shade. And a very sad looking gardenia like that, you can find a pile of lions. Of course, with the topi being so close to that particular little gardenia, I doubt we're going to find our pile of lions there. Now, there are quite a few other animals out on the plain, and we're going to see if we can find them. So, I did see some coax heart beast a bit earlier and I know some people haven't seen them yet so we'll be heading towards that area. I still want to do one more little scratch around on the edge of the river hoping for a spotted predator and then we'll start moving our way further to the south towards the Samaki swamp. The elephants are always great in this afternoon and of course that is part of the core area of the Angama pride but it is absolutely gorgeous this evening. What do you think Dave? Beautiful. Beautiful, Dave. Absolutely beautiful. And if you want to tell us how beautiful it is, use the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. We would love to hear from you. And, uh, of course, isn't this very, very exciting to be able to go on safari in Kenya and South Africa uh, in the same sort of couple of hours? I definitely think that's a world first. Ooh, Dave. Butterfly! Oh no, it's coming too close to the car. Where's it gone? Oh, is. is he landed? He has. Oh, now there's a butterfly that you should all know. So there's our first Mara quiz, or well, second Mara quiz actually. But that is a butterfly that also occurs at Tajuma. Although I don't know if I can actually quiz you on something moving that quickly, I probably can't. Uh, so while I, I think of another quiz, David was wondering, uh, do the leopards here adapt to less thickets and and less trees? Uh, well, they do and they don't. I'm, I'm I'm moving along the river. There's lots of big trees and these croton thickets. And if you are looking for leopards, this is the spot to do it along the river or along the drainage lines as you would um, in any part of Africa but of course uh, can be a little bit more difficult for them there's a lot more competition out as soon as they move away from these thickets and that but there we go there's those nervous impala I'm looking not so nervous at the moment so uh, I would say that they're Behavior will be slightly different than due to the amount of predator competition, but as soon as you find uh, wooded areas and thickets, there's always a good chance you might come across a leopard. Now, as I say, that leopard leap out of the bush onto that impala. <gasps> now! Or don't. Well, dear. So we're going to keep moving along at the edge of the Mara River, seeing what else we can find. And as we say, it's absolutely wonderful to have you on this live safari with us. And we can't wait to find out what wonders are around the next bend in the Mara River. Okay. So here we go. Oh, he's quite an old boy. Now, the interesting thing about these impalas, their horns are completely completely massive uh, in comparison to the southern African variety and uh, that's because they don't have a set breeding season so basically he's like a gym bunny on steroids and his testosterone just keeps producing because he's got to keep competing for mating rights throughout the year and you can find baby impalas at all times of the year here isn't that wonderful bubba's all year round Oh, 
you can see why a leopard would like this a crotong thicket because it's a nice spot to sneak up on any unsuspecting poor creature. Oh, I hear a hippo in the distance. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. But Tristan seems to have one inside.